guys, Caleb here with DSLRVideoShooter.com doing a little different of a video setup. I'm actually using the Sigma 18 to 35. I think this is at like, yeah, 18 millimeters on an APS-C sensor. So kind of fun, different, you know, very wide. But today we are looking at the ATP, which is anti-twist plate from Photography and Cinema. So this is a really cool little tiny plate that works with your Manfrotto quick release plates and what it allows you to do is keep your camera from twisting back and forth. Now if you don't have any problems with this, you don't really need this, but if you use like a battery grip or have lots of gear and you find that your camera is twisting, um, this plate's going to be huge. For me when I have a setup like this with a cage, um, often all that metal on rubber just kind of rotates around and it's really a pain when you're using a follow focus. So. Um, I'm going to show you how I use it. You can re that's what's cool is you don't have to just use it with the camera and the plate. You can use it with stuff like this wooden camera cage. So I'm going to go ahead and take the plate off. Um, they supply you with everything you need. To this is going to be interesting to do with one hand, by the way. Um, supply you with everything you need to get it to work with just about anything. They even give you a new little uh, quarter twenty screw so that it works seamlessly. Let's see if I can get this off. There it is. So I'm going to set my camera down. And here it is. So we see we have um, the anti-twist plate and then the actual Manfrotto plate. I'm going to go ahead and slide everything up so I can get the screw out. Cool. So here's your Manfrotto plate. Here's your anti-twist. And you'll notice it has a little tiny hole at the bottom. And uh, if you look at the profile, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see the little tiny divot here. So between that hole and that little stud, it completely matches with your Manfrotto plate and locks it in place. So what you do to actually use it is very simple. You just drop it in and you know that little tiny pin on your, um, your quick release. You know, normally it fits in like a camcorder slot. Well, these slides don't have that. So this little guy just pops right in there. Um, but before you do that, so I'm getting this little out of sequence, you line it up with that top big hole. You just take your little screw here, slide it in. Then you pick it up and drop it over the pin. Boom. And there's no way this thing is going to slide around because it's butted right up. And then from here, you can attach it to anything. And you'll notice that little tiny um, right there, that little shelf, that's what your camera is going to butt up against. Um, so I really like this. The rubber on the base of this is really nice. I Usually that stuff's terrible and it peels right off. So that's looked really nice. And the actual shelf that the camera butts up against um, is very nice and soft so it's not going to actually damage your camera, which is great. So anti-twist plate from Photography and Cinema. That's it for this week and we'll do more tutorials and reviews coming up. Take it easy.